This is the Mathematics and Sciences section of the Post 16 Open Event. Mathematics and the Sciences consist of Maths, Further Maths and Core Maths, all of which are A-level. And the Sciences consist of Biology, Physics and Chemistry, which are A-levels, and Applied Science, which is the vocational option. A-level Mathematics includes three main types of Mathematics. These are pure mathematics, statistics, and mechanics. The pure mathematics builds upon a lot of the concepts that you've seen at GCSE, and that includes proof, algebra and functions, coordinate geometry, trigonometry, and differentiation and integration. The statistics is mainly concerned with sampling, um, interpretation of data and presentation, probability, and hypothesis testing and statistical distributions. Mechanics is the study of kinematics, forces, and moments and vectors. You will have seen some of these concepts at GCSE, but they will be extended and developed at this level. The manipulation of algebra is particularly important for pure mechanics. In your A-level, you'll be examined over three written papers, and these will expect you to show a high level of reasoning, logical thinking, and problem-solving ability. A-level maths is seen as an excellent A-level for many university courses due to the level of challenge and re resilience required. It's also highly sought after qualification by many employers, and these include engineering, finance, medicine, gaming, and teaching. Further Maths has an additional A-level that is taken alongside A-level maths. Students who choose to take Further Maths will be taught in a separate class from other A-level maths students, having a total of nine hours of lessons every week. Further Maths is a challenging subject that broadens your knowledge of maths, introducing you to more complex ideas that are not covered in the regular A-level syllabus. Topics such as complex numbers, matrices, hyperbolic functions and circular motion will be explored, as well as developing some of the ideas from the A-level maths course. All students who take Further Maths will take the AS exam at the end of year 12 and can then choose whether to continue with the full A-level Further Maths in year 13 or whether to focus solely on their studies in other A-level subjects. Further maths can be taken as a fourth A-level subject and is ideal for students who are talented mathematicians and enjoy the subject and the challenge that it poses. Core maths is a level three qualification which has two lessons every week. It is awarded UCAS points which can be used towards a university offer. Level three qualifications are worth 40% of an A-level. Core maths is suitable for students who have achieved a grade four or higher at GCSE and would like to continue studying maths in the sixth form, but for students who do not wish to study A-level maths. In core maths, you will study finance, tax, statistics, and estimation as a few examples. However, other math skills are revisited, such as rearranging formula and solving equations, which can be very useful in supporting other A-level subjects, in particular the science ones. Core maths is an interesting and enjoyable subject that will introduce you to math that you'll face in real life and also in the workplace. It can be taken alongside your other three chosen A-level subjects, giving your UCAS or job applications an additional boost over other students. Biology is a great subject to study at A-level, as it is obviously the study of living things and the world around us, so it is current and relevant to all. It will complement your other subject choices beautifully, as it goes well with chemistry, physics, geography and math, but also with the social sciences such as psychology, criminology, sociology, PE and languages. It is a highly regarded A-level as it develops your communication and critical thinking skills. We follow the AQA specification and the course comprises of eight units and 12 required practical activities, giving a great balance between practical and theory. The universities value the skill you develop as you study the course. A-level biology builds upon the knowledge that you learn at GCSE and the course is assessed at the end of year 13 by a three two hour paper. Biology is a great stepping stone into a wide variety of degree courses and apprenticeships. It can open many doors for you, whether your future career is in science, healthcare, or something completely unrelated. Physics is a practical course that is assessed by examinations and a practical skills assessment. It's a very versatile subject that facilitates many career paths and possibilities for further study. 
The exam board we follow is AQA and the course covers many areas of physics. Some familiar topics like forces, waves and electricity where we build on concepts and theories from GCSE as well as topics like quantum physics, special relativity and particle physics which we're new to pupils and uh, looking at cutting edge of physics and modern physics. As well as learning the concepts of the course you will also gain problem solving skills that will be very applicable to many areas of life. So, you're thinking of studying A-level chemistry. Of course you are. Often referred to as a central science, A-level chemistry links the mathematical world of physics and the biological sciences together. The AQA course which we study at Garfield Academy is divided into three sections, organic, inorganic and physical chemistry, in which you'll study a variety of topics such as atomic structure, thermodynamics, organic synthesis, equilibria and more. Studying A-level chemistry allows you to develop your research, problem solving and analytical thinking skills. These are key skills which you can take with you to any course you choose to study in the future. A-level chemistry is a highly sought after course and can open many doors, including those to medicine, dentistry, forensic chemistry, pharmacy, chemical engineering, and that's just to start. The Level 3 Extended Certificate in Applied Science combines all three of biology, chemistry and physics, making it the perfect study choice for anyone interested in science. The two-year course is split into four units, two of which are exam-based and the other two being coursework assessments. Unit 1 is all about theoretical learning. In biology, students study how the human body works, from the tiny red blood cells keeping us alive, to the nervous system allowing us to move and do our daily tasks. Chemistry looks at different elements on Earth, while physics highlights the roles of communications, such as Wi-Fi, in our modern world. All of these are assessed in three separate 40-minute examinations. The Unit 2 coursework is based around practical theory work, and students will be providing a comprehensive write-up and analysis of their findings. Into Year 13, students study Unit 3, which is assessed in the form of practical and written examinations. Students are taught to carry out a variety of practical investigations ready to complete a three hour practical task given by the exam board. This is then followed by a 90 minute exam which includes questions relating to the practical task along with further practical questions. The final unit is a coursework unit. This year's cohort will be studying the physiology of human body systems which includes looking at the musculoskeletal system and disorders, the lymphatic system and corrective treatments and the digestive system and dietary related diseases. Applied science is the perfect choice in supporting students who want careers in nursing, physiotherapy, midwifery, forensics, sports science and many more.